Online property records pointed to two homes either currently or previously owned by Han or Xiao. One of those may have been the property at the center of the suspicious rental. News 18's Isabel Caruso spoke to that home's current owner, who says she was contacted by the NSF on this matter a year ago. Isabella? Patricia Crowder tells me she bought a home from the couple in January of 2017. She told me about six months after she moved into the home, she was contacted by the National Science Foundation, but that wasn't the last time. She says they have been in contact over email and phone calls ever since. Investigators from NSF also made a visit to Crowder's home. She says they asked her a lot of questions, some of which she found very interesting. They came to my house about six months after I moved in. They wanted to look around. They had a few questions for me and uh, wanted to know about smells and stains and any kind of um, plug-ins, stuff like that. Wanted to know if I knew the people and I didn't. Now Crowder says the property did register as a business on the internet when she first bought it, but that was changed shortly after. We also went to the other address that the couple had been associated with. Neighbors say they couldn't confirm what couple lives in the house now, but added that the neighborhood is pretty private. They said if someone had been up to something, they wouldn't have even noticed. Isabella Caruso, News 18. Thanks, Isabella. Well, tomorrow could bring us some storm